What's up everyone? I'm making a short video on gold and what's going on in the gold market. I just want to adjust this a little bit. I don't know if you noticed, but over the last two weeks, maybe three, gold has really taken off. Sorry about that. The camera keeps adjusting. Anyhow, um, gold's at currently right now about 1425 or 1425 in U.S. dollars. Uh, in general, I trade it in dollars and sometimes in Aussie dollars and euros. But anyways, um, the U.S. dollar price is 1425 and I want to make a short video on what I think is going on in the gold market. Recently, I thought maybe part of the gold price was reflected in the fact that we might be going to war with Iran. I'm not sure I agree with that anymore. I've been looking over the charts and looking over the Trump tweets. It seems like every time Trump tweets something, uh, the gold market can take off or go down, or same with share markets and the indices. Um, my best guess is what's going on is the the hedge funds, speculators, banks, that sort of thing. Everyone's front running the fret, the front running the Fed. So my guess is everyone is expecting an interest rate cut either in July or possibly September. I'm leaning towards September. Um, so between now and September, I think there could be an upset where share prices get knocked down and possibly gold too. I'm looking to get filled at a little lower level. So far, I've been getting my ass handed to me. As I said in a previous video, um, I made a few thousand. I lost a few thousand. Just, oh, I just got on the wrong side at the wrong time. So it's kind of a break even, then a small loss, four or $500 loss, if I remember right. But I'm looking to get filled at a lower level. So basically what I think is going on is the Federal Reserve is signaling to the markets that they're going to lower interest rates. Um, probably July or September the way gold is priced now and interest rates are priced I believe the market is expecting 100% the Fed's gonna lower in July so if that expectation is not met or if between now and July they start signaling that they're not gonna lower rates till September you might see a sell-off in gold and or indices I believe the reason share prices and golds really taken off like a rocket not just in the States but all over the world including China and Japan and Hong Kong and London is because the whole world's expecting lower interest rates and when this probably inevitably happens I don't think share prices are necessarily going to rally too much I think they actually could sell off because I don't think there's going to be a lot of improvement in earnings going forward right now so my my best guess is gold is taking off towards the fifteen sixteen hundred dollar an ounce range in US dollars again and the market's front running the Federal Reserve lowering rates and I do believe it could be a sharp spike up to 15 1600 so if you're in some shorts you better get out I got hit really hard that way when gold got way overbought anyways this has been shooting up like a rocket I expect it it may not stop till 15 or 1600 dollars an ounce and if there actually is bombs dropped in Iran then it could really take off but my expectations for 2019 is gold is for gold to, to keep going up and um, if this happens I expect Bitcoin Bitcoin's now about 11,000 a coin it's a 10 9 11,000 something in that range I expect that to to possibly keep shooting up to 19,000 where it was I I'm not a long-term well I don't have too many comments on Bitcoin except for to say it's risk on right now and and money's gonna go into Bitcoin and it and it's really speculative and it'll probably shoot up to 19 thousand twenty thousand twenty one thousand probably pretty fast too I think we're at, we're at eleven thousand right now so it would not surprise me if we go up another few thousand dollars per coin but anyways that's my view on gold I think you should have some in your portfolio if you're a trader I think you should jump on in the next pullback and expect it to be really volatile because I expect the Federal Reserve to may they may say something dumb or who knows what they'll say but they, they could be it could be interpreted a certain way and you'll, you'll get a pullback in gold I hope I'm expected to go up, but expect ultimately the Federal Reserve the EU Japan and especially China they're all going to capitulate in lower rates they're already negative in Europe but I do believe China and <coughs> I believe China and the US are going to have new stimulus programs and this is why indices and gold and commodities somewhat are shooting up oil hasn't shot up too much has been coming down it's kind of had a little bit of a move up. Other commodities haven't followed through though, so I only mainly expect gold 
and the indices to kind of shoot up based basically on what the Fed and China are kind of signaling. And if there's a war where actually bombs are dropped in Iran, then I would I wouldn't surprise me for gold to go up a thousand bucks an ounce. That sounds pretty wild and crazy, but at least two or three hundred bucks an ounce. But if there's a real shooting war in Iran, I would expect a really high gold price basically overnight. You would not want to be short if something like that were to happen. So hopefully your stops will be honored. <laughs> Anyways, that's my view on gold right now. Uh, that's where I think the markets is, markets are heading in general. I expect indices to probably crash or go, well not crash, go down a little bit because I don't think the earnings are going to come through over a long period of time. I think there's going to be a potential upset in a China trade deal. So you could see short term, short term moves down until they actually lower rates. <coughs> um, I would not be bull on S&P 500 or tech. But right now I'd be more neutral. But if you're going to be short, short the Russell and short tech, uh, I'd be kind of neutral on tech on S&P 500. But if the markets start going down, trending down, I, I would jump in and start shorting the tech, tech, tech indices and the Russell 2000 basically and, and banks in general. Anyways, that's just a, my, my view there and my view on gold. If you have gold, that will really help with your whole portfolio, but it's really, really volatile. So generally speaking, just jump in on the next pullback and just hold your position no matter what. I think we're heading up to $1,500, $1,600 an ounce very, very, very fast. Anyways, like, share, subscribe. And if you're gold bull, leave a comment. Or if you're gold bull, bear, leave a comment. Thank you.